Join me today on a tour of the Ten Bay Cave System on the beautiful Bahamian island of Eleuthera in the Bahamas. I was lucky enough to obtain a map of the system. However, we didn't use it to plot our way through. I've done my best to show you where I think we were on the map so you can follow our journey. The ceiling entry point in the rock is a short 150 yard hike from Queens Highway. The path is not well maintained so you do have to climb or duck under some trees and bush. After you pass a pond on your right, you'll find a hole in the ground where a rickety home-built ladder leads to the first chamber. First part of the journey concluded. We have made it into Ten Bay Caves. <laughs> no bats in here. Ten Bay Caves are very different than the other well-known caves on the island, such as the Hatchet Bay Caves, Preacher's Cave, and the Cathedral Caves. They're darker, the ground is softer, and there are a lot of dead ends. Oh, that you can kind of see or follow along with. It's like people have been here drinking. I see empty bottles all over the place. Yeah, there's some debris left here by those who went before us, but it's really not that bad. The first chamber we entered wasn't anything special. Just a dead end. Let's speed things up a bit and get to the first really interesting chamber, the Bat Chamber. I've subsequently found a second Bat Chamber on a return trip, um, but for me this is a real highlight. I can remember on my first solo trek through these caves where I was just overwhelmed by the breeze from all of the flapping wings. The bats aren't nearly as dense on this trip compared to what I remember. This red. This is the bad shit, but you know, it's tamped down because it's, it's wet. Oh, here's, now you feel it. This is the guano here. Yeah. It's a weird feeling, right? See all the cockroaches in it? <laughs> <laughs> they won't run into you though. They know where you are. It's amazing. After the bat chamber, the path splits. Since we are but ordinary humans, or maybe moths, we walk towards the light, which seems more comforting. Now these areas where the roof opens up and natural light comes in are really spectacular, and what sets the Tempe Caves apart. What you get is a beautiful contrast of lightness and dark offset by tree roots that grow from the tree canopy above the caves right into the soil of the cave. It's really beautiful and really unique. Some of these areas, this one in particular, it's necessary to watch your footing. 
there are rocks you can't really see it in the video but they just jut right out of the ground and a few places where you have a short climb up to get to higher ground it's quite manageable but requires a bit of agility and a dose of caution the reward just look at how beautiful this is those tree roots are growing 30 to 40 feet from top to bottom they're as thick and strong as a rope and I suppose can be used to climb in and out of these chambers if necessary. My nickname for this part of the cave is Shiva. Shiva is a Hindu god who has three eyes. From what I've read, the name signifies the deep and pure consciousness of the universe that pervades and transcends all time, present, past, and future, that Shiva manifests in his third eye. There's nothing in there. It's just like a little dead body. Right? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> there are a number of ways to get in and out of this cave. The first time I did it, I exited right onto Ten Bay Beach, but I've never found that opening again. It's very, very easy to get disoriented, especially when you exit. At this point we decided we had had enough exploration for one day and decided to head back. Of course heading back meant moving away from the light and that in and of itself is disorienting. This looks, this looks familiar. This is how I got out. Find that train, you're out. Yeah, I'll take down all those bucks for you guys. <laughs> you know, I'm here to help you. I am service oriented.
we, if we need to, we can just climb over here and just climb us out and then the water is right there. I mean, I can see the beach from here. At this point, we reversed tracks and got ourselves out. I didn't record any more videos since there was nothing new to see. We found the ladder and we climbed out. I wonder how long we were in there for. Here we are after leaving 10 day caves. We did a little exploring, found a couple of the exits. And now we've gone back and gone back the way we came in. That was fun.